Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Memoirs of a Geisha, released in the year 2005. The movie begins as we see two small young girls from a fishing village being sold off by their parents. The father of the girls drags them from their beds and sells them off to a man named Tanaka. Tanaka takes the girls away in his carriage and sells them off to another man. The man in turn takes the two sisters away from their village into the Geisha district. He knocks on one of the Geisha houses called Nita Okia, and a middle-aged woman named Auntie answers. She sees before her two girls, Chio and Satsu. Auntie gives a careful look at them and decides to take Chio into the services of the Okia, but rejects Satsu. The sisters are then separated from each other. Auntie takes Chio to meet Mother, the owner of the Okia. Mother takes a careful look at the little girl, especially at her feet, and then finally her eyes. Mother notices her deep blue eyes and almost rejects her, but Auntie persuades her to keep Chio with her. Then the girl is thrown into her new room. As Chio screams and shouts for her sister, another girl named Pumpkin consoles her and tells her that it's easier to forget everything that happened. She tells her that if she obeys mother, she may also one day become a geisha and live a happy and easy life. The next day, Chio is bathed and handed a new pair of slippers and traditional clothes. As Pumpkin and Chio work, Chio expresses her desire to find her sister. Pumpkin then reveals that there are several hundred houses in the city, so it's impossible to find her. As she returns from her chores, Chio watches the servants of the Okia help Hatsumomo, a senior geisha of the Okia, get dressed. Hatsumomo gives her one glance as she runs away. On their first day of school, Chio wishes to run away and find her sister, Satsu. However, Pumpkin convinces Chio to stay with her. They arrive late to their class, but mingle in with the rest of the students soon. As Chio tidies up, Hatsumomo barges in the room and catches her. She then berates the little girl for how she smells. Hatsumomo then tells her that her sister had visited today to meet her. Chio begs Hatsumomo to tell her where her sister is. In return, Hatsumomo demands that Chio swear her allegiance to her. Chio hesitantly agrees. The next night, Hatsumomo comes back to the Okia drunk, along with another geisha named Korin. She had brought with her the kimono of another rival Okia's geisha named Mameha. The two evil geishas then make Chio ruin the kimono by painting all over it. The three then go to Mamea's Okia and force Chio to put back the stolen kimono. However, as she does so, Okia is caught by Mameha. The next day in the pouring rain, Chio is beaten severely by Mother. Auntie saves her from Mother's wrath and beats her instead. She warns her against Hatsumomo. After getting her punishment, Chio begs Hatsumomo to fulfill her deal for she had played her part. Hatsumomo reveals that Satsu was now a prostitute, working in the Pleasure District. One night, as Chio escorts Hatsumomo to her workstation, she gets the opportunity to escape. Chio runs to the Pleasure District and soon finds her sister. She begs Satsu to run away right now, but Satsu says that they need money, which she will only be able to steal tomorrow. Satsu tells her to meet her at the Sasame Bridge as soon as it's dark. The next day, when it's dark, Chio climbs to the roof of the house, planning an escape. As she reaches her final hurdle, however, Chio slips and falls to the floor. The scene then shifts to an injured Chio. She is reprimanded by Mother for her foolish pursuits. Mother then also tells her that her sister, Satsu, had fled town, leaving Chio behind. They were the only family she had left now. Since Chio had done so much wrong, Mother no longer enrolled her in Geisha school and made her a slave instead to help out in the Okia. One day on her visit to the market, Chio meets the chairman, Iwamura. The man is very generous and treats Chio like no one had ever done. He even gives her some money and feeds her ice candies. The chairman leaves an everlasting impression on the little girl. Several years later, Chio is still a slave girl working for the Nita Okia. Chio helps Pumpkin get ready for her debut. Mameha, the rival geisha, comes to Mother with an offer. She requests that Chio be handed to her care. She will pay for all her expenses and promises that Chio will repay all her debt to Mother within the next six months. However, Mameha makes one condition. If Chio is able to fulfill the task, she will no longer pay anything to the Okia. Although skeptical, Mother agrees to Mameha's proposal. Chio is then handed to Mameha's care. Mameha teaches Chio how to talk, apologize, walk, stand, and act like a proper geisha. 
She teaches her all of the skills to be a proper geisha so that she could get herself a Donna who could sponsor her. After weeks of training, she was finally ready and was given the name Sayuri. She was now a Maiko or apprentice geisha. On the day of her debut, Sayuri performs elegantly in front of the audience. Hatsumomo, who is also there, wittingly compliments Sayuri, meaning to berate her. Later that night, Hatsumomo threatens Sayuri, telling her that she will destroy her. In order to protect her from Hatsumomo, Mameha takes her away from the city. They go to a sumo match, where Sayuri is to please a man who is not fond of geishas. In the sumo match, Sayuri once again meets the chairman and his friend, President Nobu. President Nobu is a war hero who had his face severely disfigured during the war. To their surprise, Hatsumomo also arrives there with Korin. To trick Hatsumomo, Mameha tells Sayuri to get close to Nobu. Since Hatsumomo is repulsed by him, she won't bother her again. Despite her wanting to talk with the chairman, Iwamura, who once showed her such kindness, Sayuri forces her attention to Nobu to make sure she's rid of Hatsumomo's ill will. When she returns, she tears off the chairman's picture from the newspaper and places it along with his handkerchief. She has fallen in love with the man. A few days later, Mameha informs her that they are to meet President Nobu again for dinner at a restaurant which is where they would get rid of Hatsumomo once and for all. Before heading for the dinner, Mameha hands an ekubo to Sayuri. She tells her to slip it to Nobu discreetly and he would know what it meant. During their conversation, Sayuri slips the ekubo to Nobu. After the dinner, she's handed another one by Mameha and asks that she slip this one to the infamous Dr. Crab. On their way, Mameha explains to her that to become a full geisha, she must sell her virginity to the highest bidder, also known as the Mizuage. So, by handing the ekubo to these two men, she wants to make a bidding war for her virginity, so that she can pay off her debts to mother. However, when they reach Dr. Crab, they are denied meeting with him by the gatekeepers. Later, Sayuri finds out from Pumpkin that Hatsumomo had told Dr. Crab lies about how Sayuri brought back men into her room, and she isn't actually a virgin. Pumpkin also reveals that Mother has planned to adopt her as the heir to their Okia. Mameha makes arrangements to make Sayuri the star in the next big dance. She dances elegantly before the men, who are all smitten by her youth and beauty. She manages to change the doctor's opinion of her. During the dance, the Baron takes great interest in her. He invites her to his house for the cherry blossom after provocations from Hatsumomo. At the Baron's house, Sayuri gets to talk with the chairman who tells her that Nobu saved him during the war, and so he has a great debt to him. Just then, the Baron takes her away to show off his kimono collection. He guides her to his chambers and shows her a great kimono. He urges her to put on the kimono and then tries forcing her into opening her dress. The day of the Mizuage exam arrives. Mameha reprimands Sayuri for sleeping with the Baron despite her warning. Sayuri, however, argues that he only looked at her and nothing else. The bids for Sayuri's virginity finally arrive and she receives a bid larger than any other geisha ever had. A bid of 15,000 yen. Seeing this great bid, Mother changes her mind and makes Sayuri her heir. Hatsumomo argues with Mother demanding her right as the heir, but Mother berates her and calls her old. That night, Sayuri gives herself up to the doctor. She returns to the Okia saddened, only to find Hatsumomo in her room. The evil geisha starts to burn the handkerchief given by the chairman. They both fight for the handkerchief, during which a lamp falls and a fire soon emerges in the Okia. The deranged Hatsumomo throws further lamps, burning down the whole Okia. The fire was settled in the morning, however, Hatsumomo had long left the city. Sayuri's troubles were only just beginning. The next morning brought news of the World War. Mameha and Sayuri are then separated from each other. The chairman finds a job for Sayuri, with the help of Nobu, as a kimono maker. One day, Sayuri is once again reunited with Nobu-san. The war had ended with great cost for the Japanese. The president wishes to rebuild his company again and asks for her help as a geisha. He wants her to seduce a man named Colonel Derricks, who can grant them a contract. It takes him some time, but the president is able to convince Sayuri to once again return to the geisha district. Sayuri returns to meet Mameha, who now was a mere shadow of her past. Sayuri somehow manages to convince Mameha, much like how the president convinced her. Mother once again opens the Okia, and Sayuri becomes the geisha she wished to have forgotten during the war. 
Finally, the day comes when she meets the chairman again. Determined to tell him her feelings, she talks to him, but is interrupted by Colonel Derricks and the president. All of them fly to a hot spring, where they take a common bath. The colonel tries to seduce Sayuri, demanding her price, but she rejects him, telling him that it's not geisha tradition. Sayuri quickly rushes to Pumpkin and asks her to bring Nobu to the garden room at precisely 9 o'clock. She warns her not to tell him that Sayuri will be waiting for her. When the clock strikes 9, Sayuri brings Colonel Derricks into her room and they start making love. She wanted to show this to Nobu to get rid of him. However, when the door opens, Sayuri is shocked to see that Pumpkin had actually brought the chairman instead. Sad, Sayuri confronts Pumpkin, who admits that she took revenge for the fact that Sayuri had stolen the Okia from her long ago. Sayuri becomes very sad. One day, she's told that someone has come to meet her. Everyone assumes it to be Nobu who has returned to be her Donna. When Sayuri finally goes to meet the man, it turns out to be the chairman. He admits that he knew about her feelings long ago and that he was the one who asked Mameha to help her. All these years, he didn't interfere because he believed Nobu loved her and he was indebted to him. But now, Nobu could never forgive her for sleeping with the colonel. He expresses his feelings for her as well. The movie ends as the two kiss. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.